Why, hello there. Good meowning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to tonight's stream. It's more Paradigm Paradox. We're going to finish Hyuga's route and then probably start on Yukinami's. I think we're going to save Ryo for last because I want to know what the hell is going on with Ryo. Uh, so he's probably going to be last because I'm not as excited for Yukinami. So, <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going to finish romancing our Sunday cook gun boy and we're probably going to kiss him. I'm excited for that. All right, so let's pop over here. Hello, 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 it's me. Oh, this week has been crazy. Did you know there was a tax deadline this week? I forgot. <laughs> but we got through it. We got through it. Um, the IRS closed e-files. Well, they're, they're closing them tomorrow. But uh, it's all done. It's all done. Yeah, the endless tax deadline. Tax season 2023 is over. Which means now we can prep for tax season 2024. <laughs> I feel like the goddamn like elves for Santa where they're like, Christmas is over. That means it's only 365 days until next Christmas. <sighs> That's me and tax deadlines. All right, let's get back into our boy. Oh, we were on 4-2, that's right. We were super close to being done, but um, I couldn't continue through because it was late. Yep, we're, yeah, so we're literally the last two. This is the last one before the ending. So when I say we're gonna be done with him, we're gonna be done with him. I rested for a few days more, focusing on gathering my strength and getting better. Maybe it was the medical care I received, or maybe the bed rest did the trick. Either way, I felt like myself again in no time. Yeah, I barely feel my injuries anymore, which is wild considering we were on death's door. Indeed, I, recover I recuperated quickly. I wasn't sure if it was thanks to the medicine or if I just healed well due to my vector-like properties. Maybe I should try walking around the room a little bit today. Here goes. I put my feet on the floor, but as soon as I tried to stand, my knees buckled under me. Whoa! Panicked, I grabbed the back of the nearby chair, but I couldn't gather the strength to get to my feet. Under me? Oh, get to get my feet under me. The chair clattered to the floor. Ouch! My legs are like overcooked noodles. I had no idea I'd gotten so weak. My strength hadn't returned as much as I thought. It was naive of me to jump out of bed like that. Just as I let out a sigh of frustration, Hugo's gonna come bursting in. Uh-uh. Hugo barged into the room, his face pale. Oh, good morning, Hugo. Hugo looked at me on the floor, then looked at the toppled chair. He sighed exasperatedly. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Uh, I thought I'd try standing up, but that didn't work out so well for me or the chair. Embarrassed, I looked away as Hugo heaved another sigh. I thought I'd, well, I thought I'd stand. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, food, yay! <laughs> I looked at Hugo. Sure enough, he was holding a meal on a tray. Oh, I see. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, Prince Zero Gravity One. Yeah. He's bringing me food instead of Lise again. It's been that way since I got injured. I feel a bit guilty. Hugo put the tray on the table and then approached me. I watched and wondered what his next move would be. He then crouched down in front of me. <sighs> huh? Hugo lifted me in his arms and placed me back on the bed. He was right. I apologize for making him worry. Sorry about that. Hugo picked up the fallen chair just as Lise peeked around the doorframe. Oh, hey, Lise. Good morning. 
I waved hello and Lise came to the bedside. Did he? Lise sounded a bit exasperated. She shot a look at Hyuga. Uh huh. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
かりわきまえて行動しろよ。Yeah, we almost died. Ah, I'll be careful. Yuka sat down on the chair and faced me. What's up? Yuka looked like he was having trouble talking. I realized that he was trying to bring up the conversation we had before. Since that discussion, Hyuga had avoided any kind of heavy conversations with me. He wanted me to rest up as much as possible. Oh, about our parents? Yeah, it was a heavy conversation, but I wanted to hear it. Well, oh, we have zero regrets. Shit. I have to say, I wish I never found out. Honestly, I wish I'd never found out. I don't regret you telling me. I feel like I had to know either way. But at the same time, it's like ever since you told me, I felt messed up inside. And, I, and if I'd never found out, there'd be no reason for me to feel this way. That's how I feel. Think of a look at it, kinda. So, yeah, I was a mistake. Oh, it was a mistake. I'm glad to hear the truth. Yuga looks, looked frustrated as he tried to puzzle out my words. Yeah, honestly, protagonist, that was confusing. So, that's not a that's okay, though. I didn't want to know, but I also needed to know, so I don't regret hearing what I did. Okay? That's like, oh, that's, that's being weirdly pedantic. But, alright. Even though I feel kind of messed up inside, something in me feels much lighter now. <laughs> yeah. I blinked a few times, perplexed by his expression. Yuka's smiling! It was an actual smile. There was no trace of his usual sarcasm or cynicism. It was a genuine smile. When he smiled, his whole demeanor softened and turned warm. I feel like he's opened his heart to me a little. I was happy, but also a little embarrassed. I turned away, but I couldn't resist resist sneaking another peek at that smile. What are you doing? Oh, uh, it's just... I was about to change the subject when... Eh? Was that my stomach rumbling? It was pretty loud. Way too loud to cover up. Hugo looked away awkwardly. Ah, uh, so, so. Thanks, looks great. I took the tray from Hugo and started eating my breakfast. <laughs> this chicken tomato stew is delicious. You made this the other day too, right? That was the first time I'd eaten Hugo's cooking. The stew was so delicious, I couldn't help but smile. Ah, ah. He remembers what we like. He remembered that I liked it. That's why he made it again. The thought made me happy. I felt my chest grow warm. Okay. I loved Hugo's kind smile. Suddenly, I wanted to know more about him. Can we talk more once I'm done eating? Nothing like super important. No, I guess not. That's boring. Yeah, okay. Still, there was no reason why we couldn't chat while I ate. He's the one who told me to eat slowly, after all. <laughs> I'll make breakfast last for as long as possible so we can talk more. Once I decided on my plan, I took my time eating. Oh my. Oh, I think we understand <laughs> that we've, uh, we've got a crush. Afterwards, I lay quietly in bed for the rest of the day as ordered. But I couldn't fall asleep. I'd slept all night. I was just bored. By the time evening came around, I felt even better than I had that morning. I decided to try getting out of bed again. God, we're stupid. I stood up slowly so I wouldn't fall over and cause another scene like I did this morning. I... I did it! I'm standing! I took a few steps to get used to walking. Before long, I was strolling around the room with no problem at all. If Hugo or Lise spot me, they'll tell me off. But being able to walk again, it feels so great. 
Suddenly there was a knock at the door. It opened before I could scramble back into bed. Kyuze poke, Lise poked her head in the room. <laughs> Lise. Lise's eyes widened as she took in the sight of me standing in the middle of the room. My weak grin wasn't enough to pacify her. Lise barged into the room slightly peeved. Uh, you see, I felt so much better. I decided to practice walking. I'm actually doing physical therapy. That's very important, Lise. I immediately knew that was a pathetic excuse. <laughs> it was the same thing I heard from Hyuga that morning. Lise was right, though. I hung my head, ashamed to have worried her. You did say that. Sorry, Lise. I guess I got ahead of myself. Following Lise's scolding, I crawled back into bed and resolved to behave. Darn. <laughs> That's very much like me, though. I get too bored. And then the ADHD kicks in, and I must have dopamine. <laughs> I slept lightly that night, and in the morning, I sat up groggily. I immediately tried to move my arms and legs. It feels like my injuries have almost totally healed. My strength's back, too. In other words, I must be fully recovered. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> Kika's sudden arrival and interjection made me squeak in surprise. Where did you spring up from? Oh. No. Huh? Oh, thanks. I accepted the tray of food Hyuga held out. He looked exasperated. それと、リーゼから聞いたぞ。昨日部屋の中を走り回ってたそうだな。なんでそう無茶をするんだ。I was walking around, not running. Lise was exaggerating. Such betrayal from my best friend. Na, Moru? Na, shoku no jumbi ni shuchu shiru toki ni kida. Agitation? Tasho kiki machi ngai toka mona. Uh, how'd he get eggs from exaggerating? Like, it's like I'm not the only airhead here. What? Yeah, you must have misheard her. In any case, I wasn't running, I was walking. There's a world of difference. Yuka didn't look convinced, but he dropped the subject. <laughs> okay, thanks. I looked out the window as I ate. Hey, can I go outside today? Yuka refused immediately, but I wasn't about to back down. I'm tired of laying around this room like a slug. I want to stretch my legs. If I do any more resting, my legs will turn into jelly and I'll have to slosh around instead of walking. Humans need exercise, you know. I'm not just saying all this because I'm bored. I need to start physical therapy. You're saying this because you're bored. <laughs> Physical therapy or bored. I stared sulkily at Hyuga. I knew it was childish, but I couldn't take any more bed rest. I kept my face blank as I stared at Hyuga. <laughs> that creepy ass face was me. Then I'll be frank. I've had enough sitting still and I want to move around. My muscles are going to seize up. We were told that we almost died. I don't think we we realized that. Can you at least move me so I can lay outside? He was a pretty serious guy. But if I but I was being honest about needing to go outside. I was sick of my room. It was starting to suffocate me. Our stare down was interrupted by Lise opening the door and poking her head into the room. Come on, protagonist. We can literally have the best of both worlds. We'll lay down, but they gotta take us outside. Are you gonna side against me too, Lise? I was downcast for a moment, but Lise shook her head. Mm hmm. 
この子を散歩にでも連れて行ってあげてくれない Oh. Huh? My mouth fell open. That was unexpected. Yuka scowled. Huh? Yeah, but I'm not a king. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 That's rude, Lisa. She'll, she'll find a way to slip out of here like a stray cat. Lisa gave me a quick wink. Huga が一緒にいて無理をさせないように見ていてくれたら、oh? 私も安心できるな。Wingman Lise, oh my god! Huga, I grasped onto the chance Lise had given me and looked hopefully at Huga. Ah, just a minute. Yes. Huga thought for a moment, then looked back and forth between Lise and I. Wakatta. <sighs> いい Yay! Thank you! And thank you, Lise. I never expected you'd side with me on this one. Lise rolled her eyes ever so slightly, but she smiled back at me. Well, gee. <laughs> My baby, I already fed you. You bought two things of food today. Oh, tonight. We got two things of food. We don't need more food. Thanks. I'll try not to. Nanka sono kota yo chotto chiga kimasurkido. Huga, insotsu yarashkune? Keep an eye on her, okay? I was so excited about going out. I almost missed the encouraging pat Lisa gave Huga on his shoulder. Well, yeah. Yuka looked at me thoughtfully. Despite his orders to eat slowly, I quickly finished breakfast and left the building with Yuga. Ah, oh, air! Fresh air! Getting to see the sky after spending so many days in my room set my spirits soaring. Oi, oi, tension takena! I can't help it! It feels so good to be outside! Uh, have you ever noticed how good the fresh air tastes? She's <laughs> like, call it here. And the way the sky goes on forever. So awe inspiring. It's a picture on the dome. I turned to Hugo's sarcastic remark. I'm having a moment here, and you're totally harshing my vibe. Goodness gracious. Just as Hika said, that Moravia appeared. Yeah. Moravia wasn't alone. Yukinami walked up behind her. Moravia! Yukinami! It was the first time I'd seen either of them since waking up from my multi-day slumber. I grinned, happy to see them both. You mean near-death experience? Multi-day slumber sounds so chill. It was a near-death experience. I heard you both gave me emergency care. Thanks for saving my life. I'm all better now. <laughs> God, we're stupid. <laughs> Yeah, don't harsh her vibe. I've been meaning to thank them in person since Lise told me what happened. Yukinami grinned, delighted at my appreciation. You were dogs, perfect. Oh my god. Yukinami. Yeah, I owe you two so much. My wounds are just about healed thanks to you. They lent their strength to save me. It was almost unthinkable, as we've been enemies not long ago. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I saw Hugo's face contort. I rushed in to defend him. It's okay, no hard feelings. Please don't feel like you need to apologize. Hugo's done so several times over. Moravia looked sad when I hurriedly hand waved away her concern. 
結果的に君を傷つけたことに違いはないでしょうだから僕も謝りたかったんだヒューガには君に手出しをしないようにと釘を刺しておいたんだけどもっと強く言っておくべきだったと悔やんだよ Don't worry. Don't worry. ヒューガが君に辛く当たっているのを知りながら時が経てばどうにかなると思って放置していた It's true that Hugo was cold with me at first, but it felt like I wouldn't have been able to talk to him openly if we hadn't gone through what we did. So it's not all bad. Anyway, I'm better now. I was about to reassure Moravia, but Yukinami, also looking apologetic, spoke up. <laughs> I didn't use the spray bottle on him often enough when he was bad. <laughs> He could look embarrassed. <laughs> I shook my head and tried to calm him down. I'm okay now, I promise. Neither of you need to apologize for anything. Anyway, it all worked out. Yuka and I are getting along really well now. I'm sure there's lots we can talk about together, right? No. <sighs> I glanced at Hugo and his blush confirmed that we'd sealed our pact as buddies. Uh huh, <laughs> buddies. You said so yourself, Moravi. I remember that I still don't know anything. But since coming here, I've learned a heck of a lot more than I thought I'd ever learn. I was sure there was tons more to uncover, but I'd certainly made progress. I nodded confidently, and Moravia laughed, seemingly pleased. それはよかった。君を連れてきた会があったね。これから君がどんな選択をしていくのか。That's an interesting wording. Yeah, I'm going to consider everything carefully. We smiled at each other. Then I remembered I needed to thank one more person. Oh, I wanted to thank Ryo, too. I heard that he made the medicine for me. Ryo would help save my life, but apparently he wasn't in town at the moment. I'd have to wait to thank him properly. Ryo には次に来た時に伝えておくよ。じゃあ僕たちはこれで行こう。モラビア。またね、they said their goodbyes and walked off to whatever business they had. Yoga sighed deeply as he watched Moravia and Ikinami leave. <sighs> I looked at Hugo curiously. What's with this eye? Aren't you friends with them? Yoga's expression turned awkward, but he explained himself. <laughs> Mm. How, how, how did the turntables feel? Apparently, a lot happened while I was asleep. <laughs> that, just, that was a weird noise. I don't really understand it all, but I feel bad for Hugo. I'll refrain from asking for details. I don't know what I'm d Where is she now? Hmm. Hugo seemed to have perked up, but I couldn't think of an answer right away. I was so focused on getting outside, I didn't even think about where we can go. What do you spend your time doing, Hugo? It's not like you heard the vectors to Theta 24 7. When I lived in Theta, vector attacks were quite rare. I was genuinely curious what Hugo spent most of his time doing. Huh? Particularly, though I admit I asked it in hopes that you're done with attacking humans. I'd be upset if you did that again. If you do that again, Hugo's sharp glare no longer intimidated me. I wasn't afraid to speak my mind around him now. <gasps> Stetica, hello! Hello! So many toll beans. Everybody's got so many toll beans now. It's great. So, <laughs> Yeah, well, other than squishing. They're they're good for squishies. They're good for squishies. Anything special? I'm just interested to know how where you spend your time. You can seem surprised at my choice of words. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me about it. 
tell me about it. You said you'd fill me in on everything I don't know, right? Well, fill me in about you. Amazing. Yeah, they are. They are a very bad influence on me. You could sigh, but he wasn't actually irritated. It made me happy to see him in a good mood. Easy. Hola. Te. Te? Yuka held his hand out to me. My hand? Oh, oh yeah. We, uh, we got up, uh, the day before, we got up in the morning trying to stand up, and we misjudged how, how, uh, well we actually were, and we fell over. Um, and we knocked a chair over, and he burst, he literally almost broke down our door to check on us. It was adorable. In other words, he was offering his hand to keep me from tripping or falling. <laughs> no, we were already on the floor when he came in. We, we were like sitting, we were like, hi. I wasn't trying to get out of bed before I was supposed to. Yeah, I actually was. <laughs> You're really a mother hen, you know? I was a little embarrassed about the prospect, but I wasn't against it. I held out my hand. Gotcha. We, get, we also did get to see his blushy sprite, but only for a short bit. Oh. Yuka took me by the hand and led me to an area that wasn't far from the building we lived in. The colony was choked with ruins, and this place was no exception. I've gotten used to this scenery, but it's still really sad to see. As I looked around, Yuka stepped in front, stopped in front of one particular structure and looked at me. Yeah. Hola, ¿cómo da? He pointed to a high tower that had once been part of a building, but was now a crumbling spire with exposed walls. What? He's taking us to a secret base? Let's get going then! I put a, I put my foot on an outcrop in the rubble, but Hugo rushed to stop me. What? Why not? My question made Hugo close his eyes and rub his temples. Can't just go skipping up crumbling wall like a mountain goat, yeah. I think so. I think so. <laughs> what does he want? A second later, we were in the air. I exclaimed in surprise when I realized Hugo was carrying me in his arms. Oh my. Why are you always squealing or shrieking? You scared me, I couldn't help it. Hugo held me tightly as he leapt lightly up the wall. The sensation of leaving my stomach behind spurred me to grab Hugo's neck. I shut my eyes. We landed high up on top of the tower, neat as you please. Kokoda. I opened my eyes, Hugo still cradled me. Down on the tower's rooftop was a small garden. <gasps> there was even an especially leafy green patch. What is that? A vegetable garden? No. I made a science garden. Oh, he's precious! You, you made it? My voice cracked a little in surprise, and he could roll his eyes, but just a bit. Ibuki and Yukinami will make it. <laughs> Do you think they would have made it? Do you think Yukinami and Moravia would have made it? He's been growing wheat! <laughs> this is his this is his special weed patch. Oh, it's not like the others were motivated to make a garden. They can barely look after themselves. I mean. I feel silent and Yuka motioned downward with his chin. What is it? Yuga leaped off the tower and set me gently down on the rooftop. Yeah, true. I minded my footing as I wandered around the vegetable garden in awe, but I guess he has to be careful about, like, vectors. If vectors would eat the garden. <laughs> A real vegetable garden. Tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplants. Oh, is that actually a pumpkin? Nope, I never had a chance to get up close to a vegetable garden in beta. That's not only was the garden bursting with vegetables, but they were clearly well tended. Yeah. 
野菜の手入れも慣れれば楽しいもんだ。When you're feeling conflicted? Like, about what? I stopped examining the vegetables and looked at him. He was gazing off into the distance. 自分が今どこにいるのか。どこに立って何をしたいのか。だな。ああ。Yeah, Hugo's midlife crisis. Gardens. Your place. Hugo wasn't talking about a physical location. He was referring to how he straddled the line between human and vector. I'm sure of it. I think Hugo. No, not just Hugo. I think Moravi and the others all struggle with this. <laughs> I don't even know if they have motorcycles here. We've never seen a car. I don't think we've seen a car. We've seen a tram, a trolley. We've only seen a trolley. Don't think I've ever seen a car. A question swelled in me and I blurted it out. Hey, Hugo, don't you have regrets? Wow, that's a loaded question. <laughs> Yesterday, you asked me if I regretted learning about, learning the truth about stuff I didn't know. I was wondering how you feel. Do you regret telling me all that? Yuga hesitated. He clearly couldn't find the words to form the right answer. Sit in the window. Or chill out. Baby's NASCAR track. The, the apartment has become Baby's NASCAR track. 後悔していないというお前の言葉を聞いてやはり話したことは正しかったんだと確信できた後悔はしていない Uh, how much they were doing. Um, which, I mean, there were a lot of people outside. Ugh. Friends the Rosa. <laughs> I played a Sonic game before, but it was like, it was with my younger Earth brother who loves Sonic games, so I was mostly just like player two. I mostly just watched him play. Yuka's choice of words surprised me a little. I see. That's good. I smiled and Hugo returned it. Oh, yes, there were people outside in the hallway, like all day, apparently. Um, yeah. So I think she's probably been not wanting to walk around the apartment and do zoomies when I'm not there. But now that I'm here and she knows it's okay and mommy's here, she's gonna zoom me. She's gonna zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, yeah, yeah. Sounds like there are a lot of fumes. I walked, so I walked out this morning. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to play that. Yeah. Um, I walked out this morning and the entire uh, floor of my, of, of my hallway was tarped, which I was like, uh, what do I do? I have to, I have to leave my apartment and go to work. What the fuck do I, I, I just stepped on the tarps. I just, like, did that little dip your head, good morning, hello, acknowledgement thing to the workers and just left my apartment. I was like, what can I do? I have to go to work. And then uh, when I got up home from work and I got up to the to the hallway, uh, it was like getting hit in the face with paint. It smelled so bad. Um, and thankfully, my apartment is right next to the elevator. So I just staggered my way to the apartment and unlocked my door and closed the door. <laughs> um, so I hope it's better. Hope it's better soon. <sighs> I was not aware that that was the kind of painting they're doing. And they're not done. They just did like our 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 hallway is two toned. It's two colors. Um, it is uh, what is it right now? It's sixty. Um, 
Monday is... Sunday, it's raining. Sunday, it's raining. Uh, Monday is going to be as warm as it gets, like 73. And then it's going to be like mid... Mid 50s the rest of the week. I'm like, as as the high. I'm like, yay. 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 I smiled and Hugo returned it. The more I talk to Hugo, the more I want to keep talking to him. It's funny. I wonder why. Huh. Granting, granted, talking gets a little tiring, but I want to push through. Yeah, you would think. But no. I needed a seat, but I wasn't about to sit on the plants. I perched on the wall instead. How should I continue? How, how, yeah, how should I continue this conversation? I listened to the ambient sound around us. The crooning of the vectors was, just, was distracting. It wasn't something you heard in Theta. I want to take a look at the vectors while I talk to Hugo. I looked over the wall. Ah. Mm -hmm. I bet you could see the whole colony from over there. I pointed to the roof of a building that was even higher than the rooftop garden. It was also flat and looked easy to access. I want to go over there, can we? I realized how childish my demand sounded as soon as it left my mouth. But Hugo simply smiled. No, I hate them. It's not that. Hugo stared made me blush and I regretted opening my mouth. Ah, <sighs> Oh. It looks safe from here? Are you sure you just can't be bothered to go over there? No, I knew I sounded demanding, but Hugo didn't seem to mind. He just nodded. <laughs> but for some reason, I couldn't let the issue go. I wanted to stand on that roof. Well, I can go by myself. I don't need you to take me. See? I could transform and use my psychokinetic power to hover all hover my way over there. I transformed as usual, but Yuga looked worried. Oi, sonna koto de muyami ni henshin suru na. Taidoku wa kizu o naosu ni mawashitoke. Transforming doesn't take up that much energy, don't worry. In fact, I think I feel a lot stronger when I'm in this form. Indeed, the dregs of my sluggishness fell away. Hey, Yuga, wanna go over there? Even if you don't come. I wanna go over there together? Even if you don't come, I'm gonna get- I'm going myself. Yeah, we're probably- The bad ending is probably us plummeting to the fucking ground and dying like a pancake. I wanted to talk to Hyuga, but I also wanted to get a view of the whole colony. In the end, the latter desire overtook the former. Come <sighs> on! <sighs> together. I couldn't hide how much I wanted to go when Hugo finally gave in. Yeah. I'd stay out of trouble. Probably. <laughs> Hugo grumbled, but thankfully he didn't look serious. Let's go! I climbed on top of the walls and leapt. Hugo followed me. We landed on the building next to us, then jumped and hopped from structure to structure until we arrived at the building of interest. We settled on top of the roof. Wow! It's just like so fun! You could see the whole colony from up here. The building was in bad shape, but the roof seemed pretty solid despite Hugo's earlier warning. The view was spectacular. The entire colony sprawled out beneath me and stretched on for miles. Yoga and I sat side by side, and I gave voice to my thoughts. So many buildings. You don't get a sense for how many there are when you're on the ground. And people lived and worked in all of them once upon a time. Uh, but now it's just ruins. Other than the building we use, everything's abandoned. When I think about things that way, this view is beautiful, but also pretty melancholy. Yeah, it looks fucking huge. Oh, the captions are trying really hard to keep up with me. There we go. It might be bigger than Theta. I wonder if that's possible. I guess I'll have to try. We sat together, gazing into the distance. Neither of us said a word. The vector is lowing, carried on the air. I've been wondering something for a while. Why do you hunt down and attack humans? We've already asked this question. 
憎いからだと言ったはずだ I shook my head If that were the case, you'd only target the researchers who betrayed you And you could have done that at any time, right? But you target all humans Why's that? Yuga fell silent I wasn't sure if I'd touched a sore spot Or if he was thinking of a retort I continued Personally, when I look back on the things you've done It's pretty clear you feel lonely Wow, we're just psychoanalyzing this man on the top of a building Where he could definitely push us off I've been thinking about it for a while now About the past and about Hugo's actions That's when I started to see a glimpse of what might be the truth Hugo looked a bit shaken up <laughs> You said something earlier about how we're not really the same, right? You looked so sad when you said it I thought maybe you were wishing you could be like me wouldn't it be the other way around? Wouldn't it be the other way around? Like, he was hoping we'd be like him? <sighs> Whatever. Sorry. I think maybe you've been feeling this way since the Vector stole your humanity. And that's why you were kind of hoping you and I would have the same affliction. You wanted someone to share your feelings with. Am I close? What? Hugo's voice lacked conviction. He couldn't deny what I was saying. Yeah, he's got a... <laughs> Yeah. Holiness. Since I had him on the ropes! Gosh. I decided to add one more thought to the pile. I guess. I realized you're not the type of person who'd kill humans just because you hurt inside. You saved me, same as you were saved back then. That's not the kind of thing someone who hates all humanity would do, right? Don't I think you have a kind heart, Hugo. You're... you wish that there were other people like you, but there's still a part of you that doesn't want others to suffer like you have. The moment I finished speaking... Damare! Oh. We fucked up. Yeah, there... we have... quite literally this route is just, we play therapist. Uh. Oh. 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 <laughs> um, Hugo pushed me down and held me beneath him. I played. Uh, so we were playing therapist and it pissed him off. I think it pissed him off. Yeah, we therapy too close to the sun. <laughs> Aww. Aww. I was right. There was no trace of hatred in Hugo's eyes. Being pushed against the ground was starting to hurt. <laughs> wow, our first rip in a while. Octavio Todd has been good about not not bonking things. I I don't know. I'm uncertain. Uh the way these roots have been going, we don't kiss until the very, very end. So I don't think it's a kiss mad. Being pushed against the ground starting hurt. I had to find the words to get through to him. What you have isn't strength. There you go. Okay, well that was the right answer. What you have isn't strength. Nani. You're... you're weak! <laughs> oh god, we're gonna get fucking choke slammed. You're weak, Hugo. But then, so am I. If I was in your position, I'd probably have the same thought process as you. i get swept up in the hatred. I looked deep into his eyes as I spoke. I had to make him understand. Yeah, we are also on the tallest building in the Vector Colony. We are absolutely going to get pancaked. You're not the only person who's weak. Yoga was clearly shaken, but I had to press on or else everything would have been meaningless. Please, Hugo, don't let the hatred drown you. <laughs> Come on, Hugo, harder. <laughs> I hate that I just said that. <laughs> For a second, Hugo's face crumbled. He looked like he might start to cry. You can't fill the hole in your heart by hurting innocent people, Hugo. So please, 
don't do it anymore. If you don't change your ways, you're gonna wind up. <laughs> Hugo shook his head and pulled away from me. I quickly got to my feet. Are we gonna have the last the last word? Are we are we really gonna have the last word? Hugo's gaze was grave and conflicted. Hugo. His voice was raspy and filled with pain. I clutched at my chest. Wait, Hugo! Hugo turned his back and left me standing alone on the rooftop. Well, we therapied too close to the sun. I could sense the deep denial behind his facade, but I couldn't follow. Hugo, I... I couldn't put my thoughts together. I choked out Hugo's name, which soon faded into silence. Welp. How are we gonna get home? Okay, we did it. Happy! The happy end! Woo, woo, woo! He's not here either. I was worried about Hugo after our earlier interaction. I had no idea what he might try to do, but the situation felt perilous. No, this is the happy... We we are now in, to, in the happy end. This is the beginning of it. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to talk to him again. That desire fueled me as I walked around the colony in search of him, but he was nowhere to be found. When Hugo ran from the rooftop, I should have chased after him straight away. But he might have knocked away my outstretched hand. He might have fixed me with a stone-cold glare. My fear of being hurt had stopped me. I was still so very weak. But it doesn't matter how weak or cowardly I am. I'm still gonna search for Hugo. I just wanted to talk to him. And therapy at him some more. I heard a noise and whirled around. Whirled around. It wasn't Hugo, it was Yukinami. Yukinami? Ah! Maybe you can help. I'm looking for Hugo. Have you seen him? Yukinami just shrugged at my frantic question. Hugo? Where? どこっていうか大獣たちを連れてコロニーの外に出て oh, yeah. He's going to prove it. He's going to prove that he's not weak. どうせ外に行く用事なんて他にないんだし、今はシータに向かってるところじゃないかな。どうせなら僕も誘ってくれればいいのにさ。He left for Theta with vectors? Is he going to attack humans? The impending violence in Yukinami's suggestion made me panic, but Yukinami looked confused. Huh? そうに決まってるでしょ。僕たちはずっと人間を襲ってきたんだよ。これまでと同じことをしてるだけなのに、今さら何を言ってるの？Yukinami talked as casually as someone explaining what they had for lunch, but I was beside myself. I think deep down, Hugo doesn't actually want to attack humans, or that's the impression I got when I talked to him. So even if attacking humans is a thing you want to do, I want to put a stop to it, not just for humans, but for Hugo himself. We probably will. Yeah. Yukinami shrugged, unmoved by my speech. He seemed unable or unwilling to process it. Hmm. Uh-huh. I understood what Yukinami was getting at, but that exact contradiction was at the root of Hugo's issues, I was sure of it. Hugo's unsure of how he feels himself. I can tell. He's closing his eyes to the truth. It was a miserable explanation. I sighed and tried again. I want to help Hugo. If I just leave him in his current state, he'll go down a path of no return. Hugo's soul can never be saved if he keeps hurting people. That's an interesting statement there. Yuki Dummy thought deeply. Apparently I got through to him on some level. Hugo He's finally opened up a bit. There's so much I want to talk to him about, but he seems afraid to open up more. I took a deep breath and tried to calm down. I'm going after Hugo. I've got to stop him before he does something rash. I think so. God bless it. Once I said everything out loud, I knew what I was going to do. I turned to run after Hugo. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You what? Huh? Really? I wasn't sure I heard you can right. Yeah, I thought you might want to help Hugo. 
僕も手伝うよ。OK? <笑>あいつを拾ってきたのは僕だしね。<笑>モラビアにも最後まで責任持つって約束したし。You can always like, yeah, Hugo's my pet. Okay? My heart s filled with joy. Thank you, Yukinami. It'll be a huge help to have you along. Ma, almost so the karate, you know, I'm not gonna get an egg. Most of the guys are g o i n t s totally fine, trust me. Let's go and save Hugo together. We both nodded, then turned and faced the colony wall together. Saki ni chata Hugo ni oitskuni wa. Daibu toba s t e i k a n a i t a n e Yeah, sure. Yep, as long as I've transformed. Oh, it's okay, Tokido. Kegawa. I'll heal. よし来たそれなら出発だ You know, Yukinami is actually probably the perfect person to have on this route because everyone else would have been like, No, your injuries haven't fucking healed. You were on death's door not two days ago. Yeah, Yukinami's got the little hip cock pose. Yukinami and I left the colony and ran after Hyuga. We've been running a while, but we still haven't caught up to Hyuga. Soon we'll be able to see Theta. Did Hugo really go towards Theta? Maybe he went somewhere else. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Now that it was clear Hugo was heading to Theta, an ill omen filled my heart. We have to catch Hugo before he reaches Theta. Hmm? Just wait. Yukinami came to a stop, so I quickly put on the brakes, too. What's wrong? Yukinami was listening, his face solemn, then he pointed. I strained my ears, but Yukinami's hearing was clearly better than mine. I couldn't hear a thing. What? Why would there be people outside the colony? It's the blooms, it's the blooms. My heart was hammering. Yukinami, lead me to the sound. Iyo, kotsi. I hurried after Yukinami, haunted by feelings of dread. He's gonna be with the blooms. They're gonna be fighting. Yep, as I followed, I started to hear the rockets as well. That sound! Yep, I strained my eyes in the direction of the noise and made out people and vectors by Theta's wall. That's the blooms! All of them! We finally found Hyuga, but the discovery brought me no relief. He was locked in a fierce battle against the blooms. I hadn't seen my friends in so long. I was shaken. Guilt made me slow to a stop. Then I recalled why I was here and pulled myself together. I need to stop Hyuga. I can't let him fight against the others. I dashed squarely into the fray. The blooms looked shocked when they realized who was interrupting their fight. <laughs> I, I think. I wonder if they thought we died. They had. I, or I had no idea how to even start to explain. The looms noticed my hesitation. Mocha's voice took on a suspicious tone. Everyone's eyes clawed out with scared of skepticism as they looked over Yukinami. I had vanished, then reappeared with a vector. No wonder they thought I was a traitor. This isn't good, but I don't have time to explain. Wait, please stop biting! Yuka continued to fight as if he'd lost all reason, and the blooms were fully engaged in fighting back against him. Even if the blooms did agree to stop, it wouldn't do any good. I have to stop Hyuga before I can explain things to the others. I ran over to Hyuga and called out for him, but he just looked straight through me. Hyuga, don't fight anymore! Stop attacking! Well. That's not an answer, mister. Hyuga's attacks came uncomfortably close to me, but I kept calling out to him. Please, Hyuga, listen to me. Hyuga kept on attacking. Nothing I said was getting through to him. Aww, <laughs> oh, thanks, Yukinami. I'm glad you're here to be the exposition dump. Yukinami appeared beside me with a smug no it all face. Annoyed, I closed in on him. What do you mean he can't be stopped? Oh, yeah. Shit. Uh. Yeah, that's what he It certainly tracked. Yuka definitely seemed incapable of rational thought right now. 
When he attacked those ex-colleagues of his, looking back, I think he was about to go berserk then too. But things were much more serious right now. Not even my voice would get through to him. Uh, well, I realized Yukinami wasn't really mad, but I still felt terribly guilty. He wasn't entirely wrong, after all. My words had been the catalyst that made Yuko go berserk. My heart grew sick as I watched Yuko fight against the blooms. I pushed my own beliefs on Hyuga. I didn't even try to see things from his point of view. And this was the result. Yuga's heart had been damaged by my careless words. Words alone won't end this. If I want to stop Hyuga, I'll have to let my actions speak for me. Determined, I leapt into action, positioning myself between Hyuga and the blooms. Hyuga's attacks were random and hard to predict. Hyuga's attack sizzled right by me. I froze up for a second. Then, bracing myself, I called out to- I call out to the others. I turned to call out to the others. Everyone, please listen to me. I know this sounds crazy, but you need to stop fighting right now. You could continue raining attacks on us as we argued. <laughs> Sen and the others ran in front of me, likely in realization that talking was doing nothing. Hopefully. I think so, yeah. Three of them ran over to Hyuga while Kaori advanced on me with a somewhat frightening expression on her face. I had zero intention of ever becoming their enemy, but I couldn't deny things looked bad. I'm sorry for leaving without a word. There was a situation. I had no choice but to leave. I'm not your enemy. I don't want to fight you, but I can't ally myself with you anymore either. I turned to look at Hyuga. The sight of him fighting mindlessly filled me with sadness. I should be the one fighting Hyuga, not you. You all should withdraw, please. By the look she gave me, I could tell Kawadi thought I was talking complete nonsense. I know that, but there's no time to explain. I was about to break away from Kaori and confront Yuka myself when... Oh shit, well... Yukinami's sudden interjection surprised both Kaori and me. We were doubly surprised when Yukinami lobbed an attack at her! <laughs> Kaori dodged Yukinami's attack, but just barely. What? <laughs> oh, I guess they had to get rid of them somehow. <laughs> Yukidami looked at me and grinned innocently. Well, thanks. I realized what Yukinami was doing and I felt a rush of gratitude. Yukinami, thank you. Oh, but please try not to hurt them, okay? I'm counting on you. I didn't want Yukinami or any of the blooms to get hurt. They were all special to me. Yukinami started fighting Kaori in earnest, and Kaori retaliated. Yukinami also ordered the Vectors to attack the other three who were still fighting Yuka. The other three blooms quickly found themselves besieged. They had no choice but to fight back against the new threat. Oh, I thought I was going to hiccup there. Yukinami's battle strategy worked. The blooms were drawn away from Hyuga. <laughs> Excuse me. Then, suddenly, it was just me and Hyuga. Oh shit, I wonder if in the bad end, if he actually, like, kills you. Does he actually, like, kill you? Holy shit. Hyuga. Somehow. Yeah, I was delayed. Somehow, Hyuga seemed to realize I was the only one left. He stopped his aimless attacks and faced me instead. The look in his eyes indicated that he was sizing me up as a new target. But I had no intention of attacking him. I stood still, even though I felt desperately outmatched. Yeah, or kill some of the blooms. I'm sorry, Hyuga. I didn't think before I spoke, and I wound up hurting you. Hyuga was still tense and clearly wound up. I wasn't sure if I was getting through to him. Go ahead and attack me if you want. 
Yoko began to slowly walk over to me. Just promise I'll be the last person you hurt. Then maybe your soul will be freed from its pain. There was still no indication I was reaching him. At the same time, he didn't seem hostile. He closed the distance between us, step by step. Once I once he was within arm's length of me, he stopped. Yuka, you can stop all this right now. His hand reached out for my neck. Now oh, he's gonna choke me to death, ain't he? <coughs> Aww! Aww! Cute. His eyes were filled with uncertainty. Go ahead. You can attack me. I don't know if I'll turn into a vector or something else, though. But if I do turn into a vector, I'll be just like you. Just like you wanted. And once we're the same, I'll finally have a real idea of who you are. I'll understand you. When I think about it that way, becoming a vector honestly doesn't seem so bad. I really meant it. Okay. Even if I lost rational thought, I'd still be close to Hyuga. I'd be okay. I can see something flicker in Hyuga's eyes. A light that wasn't there moments before. We are fucking losing it. Yeah, our brain is now... mush. I tried to understand how you really feel, and I failed. But if I become a vector, the gap between us will close. His hand drew closer to my throat. Then something inside him noticed his claws were about to touch my neck, and he drew back. <laughs> I guess we have to activate his mother head instincts to be stronger than his berserker phase. Yuga? Recognition and reason flooded back into Hyuga's eyes. <laughs> Aww. Yuga pulled his clawed hand away and hugged me tightly with his other arm. I could hear his heart beating. It was so warm. We're alive! We're both alive! I've never felt this close to him before. Well, yeah, you're in the middle of a life or death situation. I wanted to get even closer. I put my arms around him and returned his hug. うん。人間で亡くなった自分が悲しいくせに<笑> Yuka buried his face in my shoulder. Aww. My heart overflowed with feelings of warmth and love. I was so happy. Finally, I think I'm close to understanding how Yuka truly feels. I stroked his back softly, hoping he'd understood how he understood how I felt too. Okay, it's okay. Pet, 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 pet. Yeah, he just told us. <laughs> <laughs> A few days later. Not much time has passed since then, but it feels like it all happened a long time ago. Yuga and I retreated as Yukinami held off the blooms. We made it back to Tao safely, and Yukinami followed us a little later. I was so grateful that he made this all possible by providing us cover. But the huge grin on Yukinami's face assured me it was all a great game to him. He'd had a wonderful time. When I nervously asked if he'd injured anyone, Yukinami cheerfully assured me I didn't kill anyone. Honest! His answer seemed suspicious on the surface, but I knew he was telling the truth. He took my request into account, and I was grateful for that. <laughs> yeah, that is also that is not what we asked. <laughs> After that, Lise launched into a lecture of epic proportions. I thought you were just a bit late coming back, but you were just trying to get yourself killed again. <laughs> After everything you've been through. Lise. All I do is make Lise worry. Yeah. And I guess from now on, I'm gonna be a source of sadness for her, too. Oh shit, are we leaving? I was just thinking about Lise when she popped her head around the door as if on cue. Yep, I checked and rechecked. I'm fine. I had, I, sl I lightly slapped my backpack to show I was prepped. Lise suddenly looked downcast. I nodded quietly. Yeah, but I'll come back every now and then. I come, I'll come back, I promise. We both held hands and I made my pack to Lise. Today was the day I was leaving Tao to go on a journey. After everything that happened, Hugo made a declaration to Moravia and Yukinami. Oh, whoa. 
俺はもう人間たちを襲うことはしないうんそっかあ I was so anti climactic. You can help me pause for a second thinking. There we go. Okay. I was likewise shocked by this statement. Not to the point of shouting like you can help me, though. Yeah. With an announcement like that, is he planning to go separate ways from Moravia and Yukinami? Yuka scratched his chin as he often did when he felt conflicted. Yeah. yeah, oh god, this place is about to fall into an absolute fucking pigsty. Oh my god. Yeah, Robbie watched them talk with a strange spell on her face. Hyuga mo omoi kitta kezdan o shita ne. Ma, iro iro omou tokoro ga atte na. Mou ima made mitai ni ningen o osoi koto wa deki ne shi. Shitaku nai to omot tan da. Yeah. Robbie didn't get angry at Hyuga's solemn demeanor. Instead, her usual smile surfaced. Kimi ga so shitai nara, boku wa betsu ni hantai shi nai yo. Osou no mo osou wa nai no mo. She won't fight him on it. Oh my god, there's like a hiccup trapped. Ugh. When Hyuka announced he was done hurting humans, I worried the others might see it as a betrayal. I was honestly relieved. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Not that either of them have said they're done with attacking humans, though. They were okay with Hyuka living his life, but they were still determined to live theirs. In any case, I was pleased by Moravia's reaction. Oh, I love how they never explained what Hyuga's transformation is. Why does he transform? That's his berserker state, but we've seen him talk completely rationally while in that form. Yeah. Hyuga's tone was teasing, but Yukinami sulked. I wished I could respond to Yukinami basically pleading to continue attacking humans. Instead, I just smiled wryly. <laughs> Ever since everything went down, Hugus had this look on his face, like he's deep in thought. Then, out of nowhere, he said he had something he wanted to discuss with me. It's fine. I don't have any other plans today. <laughs> I smiled, but Hugo left away awkwardly. I'm as good as new, but you already know that. Is that what you wanted to discuss? Is he going to become a researcher again? Uh huh. It was obviously something serious. I nodded. Okay, I'm listening. Despite my permission, Suga still hesitated. Uh-huh. Things that can't be put into words? まあ、周りくどかったな。つまり外獣たちの気持ちってことだ。ああ。これまでは外獣には意志も感情もないと思っていた。うん。だが、理性や知性をなくし言葉を忘れただけで意志は確かにあるんじゃないかって。近頃は
Yeah. Oh, 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 だから人間に惹かれるんだ。外獣にとっては人間に愛に行っただけでもそれが結果として人間を傷つけることになる。いや。そして新たな外獣を生む。We well, what? Oh, excuse me. That was not what I ex was expecting him to say. For a moment, I wasn't sure I heard right. Do you think it's possible to turn vectors back into humans? If that was possible, then maybe this horrible cycle of fighting would finally come to an end. You could try to calm me down. Oh, we're just gonna go on a journey. We'll find the answer. Maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I couldn't believe Hugo was willing to just act on a wild hunch without any kind of real plan. But you don't know for sure there's a way. Hugo shut down my weak protest. Yeah. Okay. A tone? The word had a sad, solemn sound to it, but Hugo's expression was bright. He'd faced up he'd faced up to his past actions and was prepared to forge a new future for himself. That's how I saw it at least. In that case, I Sorani Sumi Horobosh Takijanaku. Omaenga Oreo Tomete Kuretayoni. Oremo Darekano Ayamatio Tomera de Kamashinai. Kanashimi de Meo Sangarete Yatsnaita. So it's no meo samasate yaritai. Ima so motir. That's when I made up my mind. I want to be close to him and see the path he builds to his new future. I want to bring about a new beginning by his side. When do you leave? He could kept on talking, unaware of my own plans. Oh. Oh, that's a bit too soon for me. Could you give me about three days to prepare? Yuka didn't seem to get what I was saying. He just stared at me. The trip! I got a pack! I'm going with you! I laughed to let him know it should be obvious. Hugo looked like he'd been zapped by an electric current. Huh? Oh, my Of course! Was this a joking matter? I clenched my fists and looked into Hugo's eyes. Don't be rude. I understand what's involved. Anyway, have you considered it or. Have you considered it'll be easier to find what you're looking for if there's two of us? Turning vectors back into humans won't be easy. You're gonna need help. As I explained my position to Hugo, he looked flustered and tried to dissuade me. <laughs><笑>それでも俺と違って、お前は外じゃずっと変身した状態でいなきゃならねえだろうが、そんなのきついだろう。<laughs> Fine once I get used to it. To be honest, transforming doesn't take up too much energy. Yuka kept pushing back, forcing me to finally bring out my ace in the hole. If you go away and leave me behind, I'll be super, super sad. Yeah, exactly. You get how powerful emotions are, right? Do you really want to hurt me like that? Of 
course it was, but it got through to him just as planned. I just got one over on Hyuga. <laughs> it feels pretty good. We manipulated him. God, wow. Okay, so we're leaving in three days. Oh, there's so much to do. I gotta get packing and explain things to Lise. <sighs> I mean, we hugged. And that's the extent. Three days. This will be tough to tell Lise. He's gonna fret over my safety again. But in the end, Lise understood how I felt and reluctantly agreed to see me off. I promised her that I would come back to the colony now and then to prove I'm safe and well. Otherwise, I doubt she would have let me go. I've caused Lise so much worry up until now. I should try my best to stop stressing her out. Even though Lise was okay with my plan, I still felt a little guilty. <sighs> what should I do? I hate to leave without getting the chance to clear things up with the blooms. They must really think I'm an enemy to all humanity, a vector sympathizer. I don't know if I can find another chance to explain things. Maybe there's another way. <sighs> Thinking was getting me nowhere. Suddenly I realized Ibuki was standing beside me. Wow, you haven't been in this route very much. It's been Moravia. Oh, Ibuki. I just have some stuff on my mind. Honeymoon? Uh, no? Who told you that? Hugo would flip if that one got back to him. Baby moon? What? What? It's not any kind of moon. <laughs> Hugo and I are going to try to find a way to turn vectors back into humans, that's all. I don't know. I'm going to have to look this up. What is a baby moon? What is a baby moon? Oh! It's a short trip or vacation taken by a couple shortly before the birth of a child. He thinks we're pregnant. <laughs> we're either married or pregnant. Is he trying to round me up on purpose? Ibuki's is hard to read as Moravia. I've never heard of a baby moon. But then again, I don't have any... I don't... None of my friends are pregnant. None of my friends are having babies. I have one friend who's married. That's it. I was, I was, I was a maid of honor in her wedding. <laughs> I went to her wedding shower, bridal shower, whatever they're called. I went to her bride's, or, uh, what's, bachelorette party. That's what it is. I went to her bachelorette party. I have, yeah, bridal shower, bachelorette party. Yeah, I was in her wedding. <laughs> That's the only person I know who's married. He didn't come off as happy as we dis when he didn't come off as happy when we discussed it, so I was glad to hear that. I can't picture Hugo getting excited, but if he no longer has doubts, then that's good. Guess I'm not the only one who's happy about going. Just to cover my bases, you don't know anything about that, do you, Vicky? Shiranayo? I get the feeling you know more than you've let on, so I figured why not ask. I fell silent again as I recalled my worries and I let out another sigh. <sighs> I am. It's gonna be rough, but going into the unknown with Hyuga, I know it'll be exciting. It'll always be exciting. I just have some regrets. I told Ibu Ibuki about the misunderstanding between me and the Blooms, and how they likely have the wrong idea about me. Hi, Jigglypuff! Good morning! I'm doing well! We're finishing up a route of, uh... It's Paradigm... Paradigm? Pa Paradigm Paradox, yes. Yes! Okay, why did I... That... Okay, Paradigm is a weird word, and my brain, like, stopped. And I was like, I don't think that's the right word. No, it is. It is. Oh, uh, yeah, a letter, but how can I send them from here? Oh, hey. Here comes Ryo again. Oh, yeah, that would work. I could get a letter to them that way. Uh, oh, crew time. That sounds awesome. I actually have, usually have scones for breakfast. 
Um, the there's a local grocery store that makes cherry and cranberry scones, and they're super yummy. They also have orange cranberry scones, which are also very good. And recently, recently they had pumpkin scones. They're little mini scones, so they're like barely fit in the palm of my hand. They like fit in the palm of my hand. So they're they're not huge. Um, but yeah, I usually eat scones for breakfast. Yeah, they were delicious. Um, I usually have like two scones. Two scones in the morning. That's my breakfast. And water. I drink a lot of water. Right. Yeah, it's worth a try. Thanks, Ibuki. <laughs> Taking Ibuki's advice, I sat down and wrote a letter to the blooms. Then I handed it back to Ibuki. It's been packed. I. It's been a packed few days. Feels like a month's gone by. These I helped me pack, and the day of departure inevitably arrived. I'll come back every now and again. Aww. Lizzie looked genuinely upset. As I tried to soothe her, she seemed to remember something. She left for a moment, came back with the box. She'd be third wheeling. She's in third. She would be third wheeling the entire time. She handed me the paper package. What's this? Aww. Aww. Thank you, Lisa. You're the best. It was time to go. I'd miss Lise's baked goods, but I'd miss Lise ten times as much. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry for always making you worry, but I'm definitely lucky to have a friend who worries about me as much as you do. Lise just grinned at my apology. So Okay. Okay. I promise. From now on, every decision I make will be based on whether or not it upset you. Lise laughed, her tension melting. <laughs> we turned to see Hyuga standing there, ready to go. I can leave it. I can leave anytime, Hyuga. Did you say your goodbyes to Moravia, Ibuki, and Ikigami? Hyuga shrugged and chuckled, but Lise pounced on him. Hyuga? Lise started drumming on his chest. Hyuga looked like he wasn't sure how to react. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess it doesn't bother them all that much. Oh, she's heaped tons of blame on me. So nano. Lise finally dropped her hand back down and got serious. Lise Yuga nodded, silent. He didn't seem to know how to process Lise's request. Yuga looked right at me. I felt my heart skip a beat as I bet his gaze. Yeah, maybe she will. Lise nodded. I had to say something! Yuga, you're pretty funny. I'm super strong though, so there's no need to go crazy on the protection thing. Lise and Hyuga exchanged unidentifiable glances and chuckled as I chuckled. <laughs> that was a long suffering sigh. Huh? Oblivious to what? I had no idea what Lise and Hyuga were even talking about. Lise, Hyuga spoke to Lise again as I shook my head to clear my thoughts. Oh, she's becoming their maid cook. I don't know. What are you talking about? 
あいつらはどうせちゃんとした料理なんてできねえし。I love how Lisa's nails are still painted. Like she's had that teal nail polish on since the beginning. How, where are you finding nail polish, honey? ああ。責任重大だね。Yeah, drop, yep. You can do it, Lise. Lise, I'll be busy if she's taking care of all the meals, but at least she'll have something to do. It'll help her feel less lonely. It was reassuring to know that Lise had a role now. She was used to the Vector's presence, and I could tell she'd made up her mind to start a new life in Tao. モラビアや雪並みと楽しく暮らしてるから。Lise took my hand again, looking down for a second, and then gave me a big smile. いってらっしゃい。気をつけてね。Yeah. I will. We're off! Well, she's supposed to be. She, we, we literally broke her out of the, ho, of the research area. If she went back alive as a human, she'd be captured and experimented on. As Hugo and I started out started on our trip, Lise waved to us until we were out of sight. Yeah. A breeze blew strands of my hair this way and that. It was coming from somewhere I didn't know when the sky overhead was dark with clouds, but a whole world was out there waiting for us. It really feels like we're on our way now. <laughs> I want to go back. You know I don't. The world outside the colony seemed to go on forever. Our path looked endless. <sighs> yeah. Where were we going? What was going to happen? We had no way of knowing. All I know is that Hugo will always be by my side. And I reached for Hugo's large hand. Mm -hmm. Hugo returned the gesture, and I took my hand in his and squeezed reassuringly. His warmth and his strength gave me courage. Yeah, it's fast. But not lonely. Uh. I had someone by my side, smiling at me. We finally found a way to understand each other. I never thought we'd get here. As long as we never gave up, there was hope. We walked into the distance together, believing that one day, we'd find our answers. Aww, that's sweet. I'm sad we didn't get to kiss him, though. Like, come on! Top secret, Hugo investigation. Oh god. We haven't looked at any of the reports. Tau surveillance log? Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, history of the Empress's roommates and exploring buddies. Oh my god, there's so much we still don't have. Oh my god, well. We've got some time. Let's start on Yukinami's Stomaka. route. Time for skipping. <clears throat> Did it not save? Yeah, I guess. Maybe. There's our skip all speed. Oh, well, we want red text only. Save settings, yes. Yeah, true. Here we go. Now we're major skipping. I'll probably pay, play some of those off screen because we need to keep moving. Like, we need to keep moving. We're getting the good endings. And that's, that's good. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. I have a new little squishy fidgety toy on my desk. I'm just wanting to play with it forever. Uh, we have to go to... Town, I believe? No, it's the straight near school. Yeah, squishy, squishy, squishy. 
Nope. It's not the street. It is town. I was right. It's a little, uh, sparkly, uh, silicone lobster. It's blue and sparkly. I love it. And it's just squishy. Squishy, squishy, squishy. <laughs> uh, next. We actually have to go to town. Yeah. Yeah, financial district. <laughs> yep, there we are. Yikes! I made eye contact. Does he remember me from yesterday? Yeah, I don't think he remembers. If he's craving sugar, I bet he'd like that drink Lise and I tried yesterday. That that new shop they opened up over there sells some great drinks. They're sweet, too. Honto? And there he goes! Bit of a space cadet. Amazing. That was our first interaction with the Yugi Nami. You wouldn't think he's absolutely fucking batshit insane. Alright, our battle with the vectors. Alright. Yeah. Uh, return. Oh, next. Next. We go to town. Possibly, yeah. Well, here I am in town. They're girls, so they should be into shopping, right? I can't picture them chatting over drinks at some cafe, though. Oh, hey. There's that guy I met in town the other day. He's still wearing that hood. Is he looking for someone? Maybe the person who was with him the other day? Should I offer to help? He's gone. I'm amazed he could spot anyone in this crowd. He must have keen eyesight. I love how our only interaction with Yukinami before his route is telling him where to go get sweets. That's amazing. Okay, it's thank you. Oh wait, was it thank you? I think it was. Oh, this does. Oh, let's thank you. Um, we're gonna go to the outer wall. Alright. Dum dum daddy -de dum dum. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, dum dum da -de -de da 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 Dum dum da 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 dum da 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 dum dum da da dum. We're gonna speak to Moravia. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 having sugar crash, so he's a lot easier to fight. All right. Um, I'm worried about Lise. Save. Uh, I believe this is. You just have to attack them head on. <sighs> yeah, because that brings us to villainous justice. Now we're on villainous justice. And then it's I can't save Lise. And that takes us to where we need to go. Okay, all right. Yes, now we're here. And then we click save. We're going to search everywhere. Because I think that's for Yukinami. I can't seem to find her. I searched all around the academy and business district to no avail. Now I was tackling the residential district. I should have asked how to contact her if I knew she'd be difficult to find. She'd be this difficult to find. I thought I should give up, but that was but just as I was about to leave, a cheerful voice rang out through the otherwise dismal atmosphere. Me 
Oh, it's Yukigami. I recognize the voice, which was coming from a, from atop a destroyed train. Oh, there's trains. Yukinami! I was about to accuse him of wreaking havoc again when I realized what he said didn't quite add up. Were you looking for me? How did you even know who I was? I haven't transformed. Yeah, he's showing off his leggies. I never undid my transformation during our battle, so how did he know I was part of the blooms? You heard? Yeah, exactly. We don't look different. We're just wearing different clothing. Uh, wait, I do, but only because I want to help Lise. She's my best friend. I need to know how to save her, so please let me speak with Moravia first. Oh, God. Someone who's important to me. I would do anything for her. So please, tell Moravia. Jiminy. Jeez, Yukinami. <laughs> yeah. I bit my lip expecting our negotiations to fall through. Our negotiation to fall through, but then Yukinami sighed with resignation, took out his phone. Honto mendo nandakado. Demo mitsuke chattashi. Then laxinai to monkey warerundane. Ne, mitsuke tao? うん。Amazing. Oh god, he's gonna say Moravi's gonna save her. Just come to the other side. Really? But wait a minute, outside? You mean outside Theta? Yeah, Ibuki also has one. Yeah. I don't care what has to be done as long as Lisa is okay. I wanna thank Moravi if, if she helps her, but I won't go to the outside. I mean, his expression crossed Yukinami's face. I'll accept any punishment for seeking your help. I I know they might not forgive me. A vector? What are you talking about? I froze upon hearing those shocking words, which Yukinami apparently found hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really have a feeling that he's not gonna be. I'm not gonna really like his route. Wait, then that means Lise! Ma,モラビアが助けるって言ってるんだから、君の親友はそうならないのかもしれないけど、とにかく僕は気が変わったよ。君を連れてったら面白そうだから。Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Yukinami's words filled me with dread, and for a fleeting moment, I had no idea what to do. I can't just stand here forever. I made, up my, I made my choice, so I had to follow through. Yeah, me neither. My own decision, Lise's safety, the fact that I'm going with the enemy, it's a lot to consider. Yeah. But I can't stay stuck in the same place. Little by little, I began to relax. There's no turning back. I made my choice and I have to keep moving forward. Well, here we are. Yukinami's route. Amazing. Just a second. If we're going outside, I need to transform. The blooms made it very clear that I should never leave the colony without transforming first. There, that should do it. Mm. Yukinami watched me transform with a curious look on his face. Apparently, he didn't need to do anything before going out. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but wow, he's really going outside like that? I know further doubts Yukinami was an unusual being, to say the least. Yeah, he's a vector. <laughs> I braced myself and left Theta alongside Yukinami. What? <laughs> My sense of buddies grew. Yukinami said Moravia will save Lise if we wait here. Is she actually gonna come? I'd made up my mind to go with them, but my decision was mostly driven by fear. <laughs> I couldn't let myself feel totally okay with it. And what's all this about people turning into vectors after being attacked by one? Is that a thing that's really happening? Suspected what? 
I stiffened at his remark, but he continued in the airy tone of someone making pleasant small talk. Of course, he was referring to how I'd shifted before we left Theta. Is it that inconvenient when you consider how normal people need to put on an entire protective suit just to go outside? But if Yukinami didn't even need to transform, I could see why he considered it a hassle. Okay, well, compared to what you can do, it's a bit of a pain. You could just step outside, right? That's pushing it. Yeah, we don't even have to change genders. Whoa, he just lit right up, didn't he? Feeling pressured to agree, I nodded. Uh, sure, you're awesome, I guess. Oh god, praise me more. Oh god. Now he, she, now he seems unsure of himself. He's got some pretty extreme mood swings going on. It wouldn't be a good idea to offend him. And to be honest, he was kind of awesome. Uh, yeah, you're really something, Yukinami. Frankly, I'm blown away by how cool you are. Oh god. I'm sure you're, I sure can't do what you can do. What you do. I, we we thought it. I don't think I know anyone who's like you. So yeah, I think you're pretty amazing. My compliment rang hollow in my own ears, but I waited to see how you can would react. Mm. Well Ah, well, at least he thought that sounded sincere. Was he dense? Or simply innocent? I wasn't sure how to handle him. He sounded like a different person than the one I thought. Yukinami suddenly spotted something and waved. Kita, kita. Oi, I looked in the direction he was waving and saw Moravia with Ryo. They were heading towards us. I, re I realized Ryo was carrying Lise in his arms and dashed over to meet them. Lise! Lise, hang in there! Lise's eyes stayed shut. She didn't respond at all. Her face was sickly pale, like a corpse's. Yeah. Yeah. With how bad off when I saw how badly how bad off Lise was, I began to panic. I thought she might not wake up ever again. Lise. Sedated. Does that mean she got medical treatment? It does seem like her wounds are dressed. I was relieved, but something about the picture still didn't seem quite right. Why is real here though? It doesn't make any sense for him to be working with Moravia. She's the enemy. Well, it's not like me being here makes a whole lot of sense either. No, there's definitely something fishy about Ryo. Why are you here, Ryo? Uh, rude! Ryo rolled his eyes at me at my reaction to his presence. I, I mean, he looks so comfortable around Moravia. Moravia grinned at this and lightly slapped Ryo on the back. Shizen <laughs> Oh. I hurriedly jumped in as Ryo hissed Moravia. That's not what I'm implying! Ryo wasn't giving off the vibes of an enemy. He was just negative, period. I shrugged it off and turned to Moravia. I bowed my head to her respectively. Respectfully. Moravia, thanks so much for rescuing Lise. <laughs> That's when I realized Moravia wasn't wearing protective gear either. Neither is Ryo. Neither is Ryo. I just noticed that. This is the third route in the villain section. Yeah, his glasses give him power. She and Yukinami really were unusual. But wait, bro! Do you have a protective suit? You can't be outside without. Don't worry about it. But is it real or a regular human being? Or is he secretly a vector too? He sure seems to be on good terms with the vectors, so it's certainly possible, but. <laughs> Yukinami seemed bored by the conversation. Well, I gotta check one thing. Okay, I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. If we kept hanging around the outer wall, someone was bound to spot us sooner or later. I obediently followed Moravia and the others as we moved away from Theta. No, you can do them in any order. 
I don't think we've ever... I don't think we've had anybody that was locked. Mm, I don't know. Oh, no. The villainous roots were locked until you did one of the... Um, I think at least, like, one of the um, hero roots. So you can't jump straight into the villains. Which makes sense. Real might be locked, but I don't know. I just haven't been going for him. We walked across the sprawling wasteland for what felt like hours. The scenery was exactly the same, no matter where you looked. I soon lost my bearings. Come to think of it, where are we going? I just followed without asking questions. It was a little late for that realization. It wasn't like I could go back. If I wanted to save Lise, this was my only option. <laughs> Excuse me. If it means saving Lise's life, then I don't care if I have to team up with the enemy. I could get used to Moravia ahead of me. She had taken Lise for Brielle, was now carrying her. Moravia walked with light steps, unbothered by Lise's weight. There was no way a regular human could carry another grown person so effortlessly. How long are we going to keep walking, anyway? We've been walking for ages, but no sign of civilization appeared on the horizon. How long would it take to see another man-made object? It's so vast out here. I was starting to realize how enormous the world really was. I thought Theta was plenty big, but it was nothing compared to the outside. Yeah, Jimmy, fucking, you bitch. Huh? Oh, not, a, not a, that was not a huh. Whoa! I thought Yukinami was walking in front of me, so when he popped up and thrust his face in mine, I yelped in shock. <laughs> I was just thinking how huge the outside world is. It's my first time leaving Theta. Yahoo! Yeah. There was no sense in hiding it, so I told him exactly what was on my mind. Yuki Na Yukinami made a face as if unimpressed. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even tell up from down. Eh? You don't know left or right? Of course I know, it's just a figure of speech. I'm saying I know nothing about the outside world. Mm. <laughs> I blinked, my jaw falling, falling slightly open in surprise. What makes you say that? Hey You've come out of your cage and you're doing just fine. Uh-huh. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Make sure you don't get lost. Having said his piece, Yukinami skipped off to catch up with Ravia. God bless it. I know it's probably a completely normal phrase, but every time I hear that... I'm out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta get down, be down, cause I want it all. Start with that, started out with a kiss. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. I'm fucking Mr. Brightside by the killers runs through my brain. I just can't look. It's killing me. And taking control. To see da 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 No jealousy turning things into the sea Turling through sick lullabies Choking on your alibi There we go! I was like, I know the words! <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Raised in a cage, huh? It wasn't too far off the mark, to be honest. His manner of speaking was direct, but he wasn't being malicious or offensive. And when I gave some deeper thought to what he said, a wave of emotion hit me hard. After many hours of walking, a colony's dome broke over the horizon. That's a colony, right? It looks like it's in bad shape. Is it abandoned? As I gazed at the ruined colony, Moravia lifted a hand and pointed. Your colony? You mean that's where the vectors live? Ravia nodded with an air of someone being forced to state the obvious. うん。昔は人間が住んでいたけど、無人になったのを僕たちが使っているんだ。君とリーゼもこれからはタウに住むといいよ。もうシータには戻れないんだからね。うん。Right. Oh, excuse me. Thanks. 
that's when I truly realized I'd never be able to go back to my old life. It hurt deeply. At the same time, I was relieved I had somewhere new to live. Still, I was going through a complex range of emotions. That much was certain. Colony no motomoto no joge suido no system ya, hatsden system wa mada iki teru kara. Sore nari ni huben naku kuraseru yo. Wow, so you actually live here? Like people? I muttered my thoughts aloud. It was hard to. Im it was hard for me to picture the otherworldly Moravia and Yukinami doing normal human things. Yukinami turned around and looked at me with a disgruntled expression on his face. Yeah. What? No, not at all. But I wasn't sure how to explain what I meant. My words stuck in my throat and I hesitated. When I thought about my interactions with Yukinami since leaving, I realized he had major mood swings. I wasn't sure what triggered them. Should I try to explain what I meant, or will that just annoy him further? Still, keeping quiet gives off the wrong impression. As I grappled with myself, Moravi threw me a lifeline. Yukinami, if you want to Yukinami's expression dialed down to neutral. Moravi's words clearly had an effect on him. Hi, hi. I I was surprised at how quickly Yukinami obeyed Moravi's instructions. I didn't think Yukinami was the type to obey order others. To, oh, to obey others. I guess I was wrong. What kind of relationship do these two have anyway? Yeah. They both are they both were lab babies, so I don't know. Yukinami dashed off towards Tao. Within moments he was out of sight. Yeah. Hey, Moravia, Yukinami really respects you, doesn't he? Ma. Moravia sounded wistful, as if she were recalling events from a long time ago. They go back a long way, huh? Almost sounds like a normal human friendship. Up until this point, I considered Moravia and her comrades to be vectors, albeit sentient ones. I never made any attempt to get to know them. But it's but since it seemed we'd be living together from now on, I needed to start making an effort. We've been fighting since day one, but I should try to see, see things from their perspective more. They did save Lise's life, after all. I really hope Lise wakes up soon. Wow, so this is where you live. You all live. I couldn't help but gawk and wonder. I never visited any colony outside of Theta. We've heard this song like two or three times now. This is not a song that they use often. I was surrounded by crumbling ruins. All around me, everything was in a state of decay. It was a ghost town, the exact opposite of Theta. I couldn't believe the water and electricity were still operational. I walked down the street behind Moravia and spotted vectors lumbering here and there. The vectors, they're completely docile. It's kind of weird not to be attacked by them. Yeah. Speaking of, Yukinomi said the people who were attacked by vectors turn into vectors themselves? Were they all once human too? An uneasy, prickly feeling rose up in my chest. I looked over and saw Yukinomi waving. Yuka stood beside him, clearly annoyed. Ah, Yuka ga iru toyukoto wa, shokuji no junbi ga dekite ru mitai da ne. Moravia gently passed Lise off to Ryo, who gathered her in his arms. Kimi tachi wa mazu. リーゼを休ませてくるといい。僕はヒューガに説明してくるから。りょう、彼女たちの案内よろしく。オッケー。わかった。ロスターウォーキングクレアリーコンフィデントアバウトウェイウォーズヘッドシュート。ついてこい。
<laughs> Going by Rail's manner of speaking and his knowledge of where everything was, it was clear he visited this place frequently. Rio entered one of the many empty rooms and gently laid Lisa down on the bed inside. Yeah, I'm sleepy. There was a tax deadline. Uh, Wednesday, and then today was another one. So, I'm sleepies. <laughs> I'm sleepies. I sent out probably about 8 to 10 tax returns. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. The tax deadline for today was that the IRS is closing e-files for the rest of the year. So, <laughs> any other tax return that's filed in 2023 has to be paper filed. Last year, they shut this down about the 5th of December. Like, the 5th of December was the shutdown date. It's... It, this early shocked all of us. Um, and so basically, everybody who needed to get tax returns filed had to do them today. Like, by today. Or, they're gonna have to wait until it opens again in 2024. Um, which is like, late January, early February. Yeah, they did. Um, and then the 15th was state tax deadlines, and, um, uh, deadlines for 501c3s, and deadlines for, uh, international taxpayers. Uh. <sighs> Very, um, crazy. But yeah, I got out probably about 10 tax returns this week. That all needed to be filed. And they all got filed. I have, I have, and I'm seepies. Um, we're probably gonna get... Thank you. We're probably not gonna go too much longer in, um... We started the route. We started it. I'm probably just gonna find us a nice little stopping point, and then um, we'll call it for the night. I'm sleepy. We all entered one of the many empty rooms and gently laid Lise down on the bed inside. We've been on the move for quite a while, but Lise should be able to get some rest now. Is Lise all right? Sheeta o teru mai ni kotai o utte aru kara jiki ni mei o samasu. Really? Oh, that's good. I wasn't sure what an antibody shot was exactly, but it sounded like some sort of medicine. First and foremost, I was happy to hear that Lise would be waking up soon. Um, where was Lise before all this? She wasn't in the hospital, was she? Yeah, our blood to the rescue once again. Rose's answer was prompt and short. Why there of all places? I heard that people who are attacked by vectors turn into them. Is that true? And if so, do the researchers know about it? それは俺が教えることじゃない。ただ一つだけ言えるのは、外獣のことを研究者が知らないわけがないということだ。Oh Real, I should have said this earlier, but thanks so much for saving Lise. I bowed my head like I did with Moravia earlier. Um, so are you friends with the Vectors then? I tried to phase my question as respectfully as possible. I was in Rose dead after all. Oh. Huh. That means you're affiliated with them even though you support the Blooms. Does the commander know about all this? Satena. Rio's vague answer was irritating in the extreme. I needed something more concrete from him, but before I could press the issue... Ne -ne. Yeah. The door swung open suddenly and Yukinami poked his head around the door frame. Goodness gracious, he's like a fucking pouty child. Ryo ignored Yukinami's protest and looked at me. Oh, goodness gracious. With that, Ryo got up and left before I could even respond. Oh. When Yukinami and I were alone, he turned to me. He reared my face, then beamed. Yeah. Ah, 
Even though I was thoughtless earlier, he doesn't seem the least bit angry anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Too proud of me. I'm not super into him. That's why I was like, let's get his root out of the way, because I hope I'm going to like Ryo's root. I'm more interested in doing Ryo's root than I am Yukinami's, so I was like, I need to do Yukinami's first, or else I'll do Ryo's root, and then we'll skip Yukinami's. Which is just not good. His charming smile was infectious. I found myself softening up towards him. When he smells like that, he comes across as a, any regular boy. It's a far cry from the grimace he wears when he's fighting. I knew it wasn't smart to drop my guard. Until very recently, we'd been bitter enemies. But his smile was breaking down my defenses. Um, Yukinami, how old are you? I asked the question as soon as it came to mind. Oh. Huh? From the way he speaks and acts, I thought he was my age or younger. But maybe he's actually older than he looks? Yeah. Yeah. Yukinami seemed excited by my question. He leaned forward expectantly. Yeah, maybe he's the real fairy. I, he's the final piece of the mystery that is bothering me. What? This... Oh, okay, you're just volunteering this information? Sh sure. Sure. Sure, I'd like that. It was an honest answer. I was curious, after all. That said, I had an underlying reason for answering the way I did. Going by our interactions thus far, I think Yukinami prefers direct questions to wishy-washy attempts to sugarcoat what I want to ask. <laughs> Yukinami's eyes sparkled in delight, and I knew my hunch had been correct. Really, I mean it. Tell me about. Tell me all about yourself. If I buttered him up nicely, I'd have a chance of getting some vital information. It was a sensible plan, but I still felt a deep pang of guilt for deceiving him. Um, for starters, you're a vector? So, you're all. I stopped myself mid sentence. Yikes, that was close. If I suggested they're vectors who look like humans, he might get upset again. So, there are other vectors who look like you three? And that think and talk and stuff? if he has it in him to be manipulative. That might be his one plus. Too straightforward to be manipulative. How long have you been living here? Well, that's vague. <laughs> I just want to know how many years he's been here, but I don't want to offend him by asking the wrong thing. How long have you been hanging around with Moravia and Hyuga, then? Oh, yay. You don't know how to tell time. The words came here had significance. So, in other words, they came here from someplace else? Yukinami spoke up before I could confirm. Yeah, you certainly did. You picked him up? Yukinami's choice of words was odd. At the same time, they confirmed all of them had come to the colony from other places. Yeah. What do you mean by you picked up Hyuga? Eh? <sighs> あ、え、スパーマン。It sounds more like Yukinami saved him than simply picked him up. Yukinami seemed to regard the world from a skewed point of view compared to humans. And again, my idea of normal was null here. I realized I needed to keep an open mind. Do only vectors live in Tau? Mostly? So not everyone here is a vector? I was puzzled for a moment, but then the realization hit me. Ah, I get it. He doesn't count me as a vector. That's why he said mostly. No, there is another human. Our uncle. We've just somehow managed to never see him in, uh, in Hyuga's route. And uh, I doubt we'll see him in, uh, in Yukinami's route. Ryo seemed to go back and forth between the colonies due to his support role for the Blooms, so he wouldn't keep, so he wouldn't be considered a resident of Tao. I decided to ask Yukinami about Ryo. Does Ryo come here often? Yeah. 
I think I saw the topic of me. What? Have they? I mean, they're not direct questions about Yukinami, but they do involve the things around him. I think he wants to be the center of the discussion. All right, I'll ask a very Yukinami-centric question. So, Yukinami. Oh. Ah, my stomach. That girl sounded like a wild animal trying to get out of a cage. So da, so kujidatta. The rumbling in my belly seemed to jostle Yukinami's memory. Yeah, why are you so awesome? He hurried to the door. I see. I'm glad he's decided that he uh, he will bring us food. He left without waiting for a response. That was beyond embarrassing. My stomach might as well barked out its demands to be fed. But Yukinami didn't seem to care much, which was the only saving grace about this fiasco. Maybe Vectors didn't care about rumbly tummies. He sure did talk. Sure did talk, though. If I can stay on his good side, I can probably get tons more info from him. <sighs> I heard a muted moan and realized it had come from Lise. <gasps> Lise, you're awake! Thank goodness! I should book up fast. Lise opened her eyes a bit as I rushed over to her bedside. <sighs> Lise's eyes focused on me as she tried to sit up. Panicked, I gently pushed her back down. Take it slow, Lise. You need to rest. Just lie down for now. As I tried to get Lisa to settle back, she started to look around the room fearfully. Don't worry, this is a safe place. Just relax. I began explaining things to Lise, taking care to stay light on the grisly details so I wouldn't upset her. Unfortunately, I still managed to spark some of her bad memories. So da. I was Lise, please, stay calm. I'm right here with you. I repeated soothing words to Lise as I gently stroked her head. I heard a noise behind us. Oh no, and turned to see Yukidami to return with a tray. I opened my mouth to say his name, but quickly saw my greeting. For some reason, as soon as Yukidami saw Lise, his smile faded. His glare was so icy, I shivered. Did I say or do something to offend him again? But I haven't done anything this time. Oh, yeah, she just woke up, but she seems really really weak. I think she needs to rest for quite some time. Hmm. So? Neither Yukinami's tone nor words were sharp, but his attitude and tone made it clear he was deeply bothered about something. Okay. Yukinami put down the tray, which had two dinners on it, then he left the room. What was that about? I have no idea what could have put him in such a foul mood. Huh? <sighs> Uh, I don't know if I'd say scary. It seems more like he was annoyed about something. Suddenly I realized I was feeling defensive. He was certainly a formidable foe when we fought. Even now I get the feeling I shouldn't let my, gu my guard down around him, and yet... I recalled the innocent face he flashed just moments ago, and I realized I couldn't simply write him off as scary. Yeah. Weird. Lisa looked at me confused. I wouldn't go so far as to say I know him well, but I guess I know him a bit now. I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, probably not. I, I know I knew my answer didn't inspire confidence, but to be honest, I wasn't sure what else to say. Oh, right. Think you can eat something? This soup and bread looks delicious. If you think you can manage, let's have dinner together, okay? <laughs> I hope Lazy sit up and we began eating dinner together. Wow, this soup is really good! Yukinami brought it up here, but he probably didn't cook it, right? So then, who did? Lise and I chatted while we ate. I tried to keep the conversation light. To sit and chat with Lise like this when not too long ago I couldn't see her at all, it felt like a miracle, really. Yukinami said that people who are attacked by a vector will turn into one themselves. Maybe Lise would have also turned into a mindless monster if she hadn't received that antibody shot. It wasn't I it wasn't the commander or the blooms who saved both me and Lise. No, the vector saved us, our enemies. The past aside, I owed everything to them. I still need to be careful about lowering my guard, but I should get to know them better. I convinced Lise to lie back down and rest as soon as we were done eating. I was still worried about her condition. Lise fell into a deep sleep as soon as she lay back down. She was clearly exhausted. Her sleep looks much more peaceful now. So much better than when she was sedated. Alright, I'll go clean up these dishes and have, have leave, leave, leave Lise to get some sleep. I looked around the building until I found a sink and quickly washed the bowls and tray. I selected the room next to Lise's and decided to turn in for the night. 
Whew. I'm so tired. There's still so much to think about, but for now, it's time to sleep. Speaking of time to sleep. Speaking of time to sleep. It's time for me to get ready for sleep. Yeah, email Uncle Yashima before we sleep. Gasp. We have a phone, apparently. <laughs> Um, well, actually, I don't know if we have a phone. They have phones. I don't know if their phones have email. But, uh, this is, uh, this is all the time we have for today. So, uh, I'm gonna pop over here. I'm gonna turn this down, because y'all, we don't need to just hear footsteps as we, as, as we close up the stream. Uh, but yeah, that is all the time we have for tonight. Thank you, everybody, so much for stopping by. I really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for being here, Sijiaka. Always appreciate seeing you in chat. Ugh. Tomorrow, I don't know what we'll play. We might play some more, uh... Might play some more 13 Sentinels. We might start something else. We might pick up, uh, Pokemon Fusion again. We'll see. Got lots of options to choose from. Um... But, yeah. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful meowning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. And, uh, well, yeah, we're gonna have fun. Well, whatever. Uh, without any further ado, there we go. Without any further ado, bye-bye!